For Biology 11 today, we are talking about the different classes of mollusks. Most importantly, we will talk about how we can compare the mollusks. It is easy to see how the mollusk classes are different by looking at their pictures. But to see how they are the same, we need to look at the five main body parts of a mollusk, which are listed for you up here in your legend for coloring. I'm just going to fix this as visceral mass. Visceral mass means inter internal organs. Okay, so to compare them today, we are going to do some coloring of our classes. Hopefully you've got five different colors of pencil crayons or felt pens. And we are going to start with the shell. Shell, I'm going to choose a purple. Okay, on some of our mollusks, the shell is really obvious on our clam here, for example. So, in fact, the name for bivalvia actually means two shells. So these are your clams, your oysters scallops, etc. Mussels as well. Okay. So that's our shell on the outside. And if I come down to my internal picture, again, my shell's pretty obvious on the clam. Just going to draw an outline around here for our shell. Okay, let's move on to our cephalopod. Okay, on our cephalopods, which are squids, octopus, etc. The shell is often on the inside. It's a clear cartilaginous piece called the pen. Okay, and the pen is an internal shell. So when we look at our external picture, we can't really see it. It does give a little bit of shape to the edge of the squid, so I've just dotted line it in. And it is not shown on our internal picture, so I have nothing to add to that. Okay, and our next one, our gastropod. Okay, if it's, these are your slugs and snails. So if it's a snail, ocean or land dwelling, it's fairly obvious, here's a shell. Okay, and again, I'm just gonna outline it on our external part. Just enough for us to see. Okay, so that's the first smallest part we've talked about is the shell. Uh, the next one we're going to talk about is something called the foot. So the foot I'm going to do on my mollusks in okay, on our clam, it's this piece here. The clam can use it for digging and burrowing. And here is where our foot is on our internal clam. Sometimes it can be extended out of the shell. Okay, on our squid, thing about the squid is the foot is divided into tentacles. So there we go. This is where the foot is on our squid. Just put a little note here that says foot divided into tentacles. Squids usually have, um, well, we, they're considered to have 10 arms, eight um, moving tentacles and two really long feeding tentacles, which are these ones down here. Okay, and octopus are generally considered with eight arms or eight tentacles. So. Okay, and that's our squid. Squid, the term cephalopod actually means head footed. The foot of the squid is attached to the head end, as you can see its proximity to the eyes here and here. Okay, let's move on to our gastropod. Our gastropod, the foot, I see it's labeled sole on this picture, but here's our foot. Okay, it's this bottom piece of my gastropod where it crawls along. And same with on this picture here.
and gastropods, so where gastro means stomach, and these are referred to as stomach footed, okay, pod being foot, okay, because their foot is found on the stomach side. Okay, our next piece that we're going to label on our mollusk is the mantle. We'll use a yellow for that on mine. Okay, on my clam, it's this inner layer of tissue that surrounds the cells. It's kind of the, it's one of the chewy parts of the clam you eat when you have clam chowder or if you like steamed clams. It's not visible on the external diagram. On the squid, all of this outside tissue, almost what we would consider its skin, this is the mantle. And mantle means it's a soft bodied organism. So it's a soft tissue layer, even some of these parts here. Okay, and on my internal squid, this one has had the mantle cut open so that we can see the inside. This part is the mantle of my squid. All right, on our snail, the part that is the mantle, again, it means it's soft bodied, so it's this part here. And on the inside of our snail, Labeled around here. And a layer that comes up here just underneath the shell. The most part of the mantle is the tissue that holds the animal into its shell. Okay, the visceral mass. I'm going to do those in light green. I always think light green for digestive system or digestive organs, but these are all the organs. So in this, in the clam, the organs all tend to get right together. So the visceral mass basically turns out to be this whole area here that contains all of its organs. So I'm just shading all these in green. Be careful not to get the gills. I should have done those first. So that is a visceral mass for a mollusk. Okay, for our squid, again, it's all the internal. Be careful not to get the gills. Okay, and that's our visceral mass for our squid. And for our snail here, this is our visceral mass. This one's even labeled intestine up here so we can get all of this area. Visceral mass is just a term for all of its organs put together. Okay, and the gills, I'm going to do in light blue, I think light blue for oxygen, like the respiratory system. Okay, so our gills on our clam are here, okay, getting oxygen out of the water. And on our squid, they're here, there's two of them, one there one there and they're very feathery and have a very high surface area and then once we get over to our snail here it's actually labeled lung but this is a it's kind of a modified lung and the function of the lung is getting oxygen so modified lung or gills is the same area of the snail so all this area here that's labeled lung, structurally it is somewhat similar. It's very feathery and has a high surface area so that the snail can get more oxygen. I think that covers the coloring and contrast of our mollusk classes. I've just noticed a little piece here on my snail that is labeled here. This is my stomach and crop. These are all digestive system parts, so digestive system would be part of our visceral mass, so it should be green. Okay, and that concludes our coloring um, and comparing of the fine main, five main body parts of the classes of mollusks, the bivalves, the cephalopods, and the gastropods.